All right, we're going to learn how to adjust the columns and rows, as well as how to make changes to our sheets. Okay, so we'll start off with the sheets. Okay, so the very bottom right, you'll, you'll always start with one sheet, right? And so the way to look at this is each sheet is a different piece of paper, right? Almost like a notebook, right? So on sheet one, I have this B3 to G6. On sheet two, I don't have anything, right? But if I were to type, maybe like... I love Mondays. I wish you Mondays. I love Schmondays. Okay, and then you can see it's different on each sheet. Okay, so on the tests and quizzes and whatnot, it's very important to pay attention to what sheet you're on, right? Because it'll tell you go to this sheet, and if you don't read that part on the question, then you're just going to be making changes on the wrong sheet, and then you'll get frustrated. Okay, so um, we have our different sheets. If I click on the sheet and it's white, that means it's active, right? So sheet one's active right now. And then I can actually right click on the sheet when I can do multiple things. When I right click on the sheet, so I, on the right side of my mouse, right click, and I have these different options, okay? So I can delete it, I can insert a new sheet, I can rename the sheet, right? I can protect the sheet, I can change the tab color. So let's like rename, let's say we're trying to do months or something, right? So December just got over with. And then January and February. Okay, so I have the different I have the different months maybe. And then another thing that companies will do, and it's kind of beneficial, is if I right click, I can also change that top color like we talked about. So you know December is cold, so I'm gonna do blue. January is colder, so I'm gonna do a light blue. Maybe February. It's probably not going to warm up, but why not? Let's do yellow. Okay. So now each of these have a different color. So it's easy to keep track of. And then if I want to move them, an easy thing to do is you can just click and drag. Okay. Click and drag. And that puts the sheets wherever I want them. And when I click and drag, I should see this little paper. Okay. So I can literally put them wherever I want. Okay, now the next thing we're going to talk about is adjusting the columns. Okay, so let's say we have a long sentence like Mr. Cornea's class is so dot, dot, dot. Okay, and then maybe my next column I had something typed in like at least it is better than English. Don't tell your English teacher I said that. Is it at least even a word? The English teachers are probably making fun of me. I don't know. I'll do a space in there. Okay, so you can see that when I click and make cell A1 active in the top formula bar, I can actually see the entire text. Okay, so that's, uh, I forgot to mention that. Formula bar and then name box. Okay, but when I click in the, in the cell and make it active, the formula bar shows me everything that's in there. So if I, if I want to make changes, I can also keep typing in there. Okay. And that makes changes to it. But so you can see though, I can't see it, right? Because cell A or column A ends right here. Okay, but you can see when I hover in between A and B, there's this little line. When I hover over it, I get this divider, right? So I can actually click and drag and change the size, right? I can change the size of my column. So option one is I can click and drag and just change it to where I think it's at and kind of just adjust it manually, okay? Option two is I can actually just double click on this line. So if I click twice, it auto adjusts to what fits best, okay? Auto adjust. So right now I can see that my column B isn't wide enough. It, it's not showing right now though because I have C, D, and E doesn't have anything in it. If C, D, or E had stuff in it, it would cut it off, okay? So my other option is I can come up here. I'm on the home tab over in the cells group and click on format and do the column width, All right? So I'm gonna format the column width and I can type in if I knew, if I know how far I want it, like 15, right? So it'll auto adjust that. Or I can also do auto fit, right? Auto fit column width. Okay, so those are a couple different options on how I can auto change. All right, so um, that's how, and I mean, the same thing applies to the rows, right? So let's say that I want to have a big old text and it just keeps going and going and going and going and going. 
Now, it doesn't wrap right now, so it wouldn't work. I'd have to click up here and go to wrap text. But So that's another little trick, right? Wrap text just means it sends a text down instead of continuing on. But again, it's just same concept, right? I just click on the line. If I want, I can double click and it'll auto fit. Okay, so that is everything about auto fit and our cells or our uh, workbooks.